Happy New Year! Welcome to this drum lesson for Neil Young's song, Heart of Gold. So, starting off the new year nice and chilled. Um, love this, this vibe of this tune. Um, so, it's, again, in my beginner's um, drum lessons, it's, there's a real simple version of this song but there's also like you can delve into it a bit more and really get go more deep deeply with it but for a beginner um for a super beginner you can you can kind of basically play one beat and it will you can pretty much play that through the whole the whole whole of this track which is which is kind of great um so let's just jump straight into what that pattern is essentially what what we're doing if you break it right down is two kicks and a snare drum one and two three and four one and two three and four just kick and snare so i'll just play it for you and then we can um, break it down from there so it's like this So that is pretty straightforward. I mean, you can, I'll play it a little bit slower for you, but that is essentially the pattern that you can play through the whole track. So here it is a bit slower. Okay. So that, that's, as I say, you can play that groove through the whole song if you want to. Um, there's some other little bits that I want to pick out just to sort of um, make this kind of song come together. Um, so there's like a, this, this happens straight from the get-go intro. And then we're into this kind of pre-chorus section, I'd call it. And there is a hats part that comes in, okay? Um, let me just play it for you and then we can break it down. So we're keeping the same kick and snare pattern and it will sound like this. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky on the hi-hat, but we're basically playing quarter notes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But we were actually bringing the left hand up to play a few extra hi hats um, to sort of fill in that groove. But if you want to, just keep it straight, just quarter notes. So like. are feeling spicy you're bringing after after your back beats on two and four you're bringing your left hand up one and two so you're actually adding this extra snare drum on um, the last sixteenth note of beat two Make it simpler and just add the snare drum. Or then you can bring the extra ga That's the pre-chorus section. As I say, what you can do is just play that 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 same groove through the whole of this track. 
But what you can do also is if you're finding it a bit weird not having a leading hand in this, you can play that quarter note hi-hat groove all the way through as well. So you could just play this groove through the whole track. If you want to go more in depth with it, you can learn that pre-chorus bit. Um, again, the chorus is that 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 I mean that underlying pattern, boom boom ba, boom boom ba. There's a few extra bits in the chorus um, that are quite nice. It's sort of like a it's, the chorus is kind of like a two bar, two bar, two bar, two bar thing. So essentially, what happens? in the chorus, if you really break it down, is we're doing that same boom boom ba pattern for the whole of the chorus, but the last two bars, we put in a kick on two and. So, um, I'll just play the last two bars for you, because you know all the other bars are just boom boom ba, boom boom ba, but the last two bars would be like this. snare drum. So you're doing that kick there. One and two and yeah. And then so and then also what what happens is because that that kick there on two and is bringing it forward, then there's li this nice little snare feel that happens. And into the next section. Um Another little thing that's cool in this um, in this chorus is there's these little kind of drags on the snare drum that are on the last sixteenth note of of beat four, okay, um, and they happen after two bars, so it's it's like this. So that was that was the last two, four bars of the of the chorus. So these frills, a uh, little little, can be quite tricky for beginners. But what you can do is just do a hit. Okay, you can just do a little hit on beat on the last sixteenth note, of beat four. So listen out for those. Um, those are happening in the chorus. Um, the only other extra bit is after the uh, after the second no, sorry, after the first chorus. There's this kind of post section bit where it's um, kind of an instrumental section, and there's an extra kick. Boom boom ga, boom 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 ga. Again, listen out for that. So, hope that that all makes sense. As I say, if you are a real beginner, just get your head around that boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, and then just add maybe a quarter note in the hi hat um, if, if, if that makes you feel like you anchor it better. Because it's such a nice laid back groove, this one. I would, I would really say to you, just get that solid first and then try and. Um, go into de the, some of the details, but just try and get it laying down nice. So, what I want you to do now is to go and play through the whole of the track. So, what I should have is the link around about this area here. So, click on that, which is the playthrough of the song. So, you can play through the song with me playing and 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 see what I'm doing and join it. So, go and do that now. Click on this link. Cool, so hopefully, yeah, you've clicked on that. Um, 
don't know how many times I need to point at it, but one more time. Um, so yeah, cool. I hope that was useful and yeah, nice one. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you.